Balozi Donald J White aliapishwa kwa balozi wa Marekani katika Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania Aprili 2 mwaka 2020 akiwa daktari wa tiba na mjumbe wa taaluma Dr White amekuwa kiongozi katika afya umma na sera ya afya ndani ya taifa lake na nje ya taifa lake kwa maana ya kimataifa kwa miaka kumi na saba iliyopita ikijumuisha huduma kwa idara ya afya na huduma za kibinadamu idara ya kazi ya Marekani na umoja wa mataifa Asante sana kwa mapokezi nzuri sana sana oh. <laughs> uh, ile kuwa bomba sana <laughs> Kabla ya kuteuliwa kwa barozi wa Tanzania, Dr. White aliwahi kushika nyadhifa za kaimu na kudumu katika serikali ya shirikisho la Marekani akiwa katibu wa afya na huduma za binadamu HHS naibu katibu msaidizi wa afya kinga ya magonjwa na ukuzaji wa afya majukumu yake yalijumuisha kuelekeza ofisi ya kuzuia magonjwa na ukuzaji wa afya yani ODPHP ofisi ya uadirifu wa utafiti ORI na ofisi ya usalama uapo kazini yani OSHA lakini pia aliwahi kuwa mkurugenzi mtendaji wa baraza la rais la michezo usawa na lishe PCSFN huyu ndiye balozi wa Marekani nchini Tanzania Donald J White amejitwika na kutengeneza mahusiano haya na taifa hili pendwa taifa lenye amani Safari yangu imeanzia Kilwa ambako nimevutiwa na maeneo mbalimbali ambayo yanaweza kuchangia kukua kwa sekta ya utalii kulingana na namna ambavyo mandhari ile imeweza kutunzwa hasa tukizingatia magofu ya marikale ambayo yameachwa kipindi cha nyuma tangu enzi za watu wa kale. Anaeleza kwamba Peter Greenberg ambaye ni mwandishi wa habari na ndiye mwongozaji wa filamu ya Loyo Tour sasa atatumia fursa hii kama barozi kuhakikisha kwamba anahusisha masuala mbalimbali na vivutio mbalimbali kutoka kusini ikiwemo maeneo ya Kilwa ili aweze kuonekana na ulimwengu wote Tangu mwaka 2003 ambapo ni takriban miaka 20 sasa Marekani amekuwa akiwekeza kiwango cha takriban bilioni sita mpaka bilioni saba katika kupambana na HIV nchini Tanzania na kupitia mipango mbalimbali mbali, ikiwemo pefa Donald J White anaeleza mkakati na mchango wa taifa la Marekani katika kupambana na HIV nchini Tanzania Back to World's AIDS Day. So currently what does the US government do to facilitate the combat of AIDS and HIV in our country? Right. Uh, the United States government has been heavily invested in uh, bringing about epidemic control for HIV in Africa and across the world. Uh, we actually started 20 years ago, 2003. Uh, and I think over that period of time the United States has invested uh, 6 or 7 billion US dollars to address HIV here in Tanzania. Uh, I will say that we're moving in the right direction uh, when uh, we started this program back in 2003 there were only 1000 Tanzanians that were able to get antiretroviral therapy. Kupitia mpango wa pefa, Barozi Donald J White kama alivyosadifu kupitia Risala yake wakati wa maadhimisho ya siku ya ukimwi duniani yaliyofanyika kitaifa mkoani Lindi anatambua namna ambayo inaweza kuwa rahisi zaidi katika kupambana na maambukizi mapya na anatambua ushirikishwaji wa nafasi kubwa ya watoto katika kupambana na janga hili la ukimwi. Yes, we want to eliminate and it's certainly possible maternal to child transmission that that occurs uh, during the birthing cycle. Uh, more work can be done. I think we've done very well in the PEPFAR facilities, but some of the facilities that are not, have not been associated with PEPFAR still have some uh, there's some opportunity for improvement and we're going to be working on that area. I will tell you it's one of the number one priorities of your health minister to completely eliminate maternal to child transmission of HIV. Katika taaluma yake kama daktari 
amekuwa na mchango mkubwa sana nchini Marekani katika kupambana na magonjwa mbalimbali ya milipuko, magonjwa HIV na kuwa mchango katika sekta ya afya nchini Marekani. Na sasa mwanahabari wetu anauliza kama kuteuliwa kwake kuwa barozi wa Marekani nchini Tanzania ni kwa sababu yeye ni daktari wa masuala haya ambayo leo hii ameashikilia kidete na hata taifa la Marekani limewekeza fedha nyingi tofauti na sekta nyinginezo. Do you think you being a physician is one of the reasons that the US government appointed you to come in our country? Ah, oh, labda. <laughs> uh, it's true ni kweli mimi ni daktari. Uh, and I am most interested in improving health outcomes for the Tanzanian people. Actually my introduction to Tanzania was 33 years ago right out of uh, when I finished my medical training. I came here as a volunteer and worked in the Manazi Moja Hospital in Zanzibar. Uh, uh, in the children's wing. Uh, Zanzibar was a much different place uh, 33 years ago with not the advances that tourism have have brought to the island and there was a great deal of malaria malnutrition tuberculosis and other health things Barosi Donald J White mwisho anatueleza kwamba hii ndio mara yake ya kwanza kuona mti wa mkorosho na amependa mandhari ya mkoa wa Lindi lakini pia katika kueleza mikakati mbalimbali ambayo anaona inaweza kwenda kuinua mkoa wa Lindi na kuinua taifa kwa ujumla anazingatia masuala mbalimbali miongoni mwa maono yake katika kile kinachoweza kuinua uchumi wa watu hawa ni uvuvi pamoja na kilimo na mengine yao mengi the fact that you have been at lindi so what are the development plans that you think you may be having ah. for our region well um, <laughs> Uh, first of all, I love your region. Uh, I've really enjoyed the region and had an opportunity to really experience the uh, uh, two of the major industries here. Uh, for the first time in my life, I saw what a cashew nut tree looks like. <laughs> and you really raise a great deal of, of cashew nuts here and I've enjoyed some. But also I know that fish, uh, fishing is a major industry here and let me say I've already had a samaki leo leo on two different occasions. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, in Tamusana. Na hayo ndio machache ambayo balozi Donald J White ameshirikiana nasi na hata si mbaya yamekufikia moja kwa moja kupitia 89.5 Mashuja FM isipokuwa ufahari na sisi pamoja nawe tunakwenda kuyashika haya pamoja na kuishi nayo na kuhakikisha kwamba yanakwenda kuwa chachu ya maendeleo ya mkoa wa Lindi pamoja na taifa kwa ujumla sote tushirikiane na kushikamana na kuhakikisha tunaimarisha afya